Welcome back to more Pokemon Emma The Misfit Challenge. Yeah, even with Misfits, I won't lose to you. So I'm guessing I ended up into a secluded area. Which I'm guessing was not the right place, so. Back on the water we go. And it seems to lag a bit while we're on the reach here. And our first battle while underwater, and it's a clam pearl. Well, let's see what clam pearl can do. You know, I honestly thought that move was invented in Gen 3. I've been playing since Gen... Technically, I've been playing since Gen 1, but my first game was a Gen 2 game. But, seriously. I never saw that move in Gen 1 till when I got my own Pokemon Blue and I started pulling through it and then I realized I think it was one of the Elite 4 actually used it against me and I was like, what? That move existed back then? So yes, I did buy my Pokemon Blue way after I had my... Something told me this is the topless, right? It feels like it's the topless. Yes, it is. I need to find where I'm going to. And it's a wild wing doll, oh boy. So scary. to get away from this large from this large spot I look for another one. Okay, this tentacle is a little tougher. Oh no I can't run, that's great. That barely did anything. That is not good for you, P and D. Okay, you're screwed. Come on, just a bit more. Just a bit more. Can I get another defense drop on it? Are you gonna survive that? You need to kill it in this hit. Okay, you can finally switch. Lucky you. Just in time, too. Excuse me while I try to take care of this lag for a second. Yeah. So it was causing the lag, wasn't it? <laughs> Stress. Nope. It wasn't causing the lag. Then I have no idea what is. All I know is this one is completely weak. Weakened. Oh, that really concerns me in any way. I have been thinking heavily about the team I'm going to be using for the Elite Four because I'm not getting any more Misfits, so... The team I'm going to use for the Misfits... I don't know who, I'm, who it's going to be exactly. I'm thinking about it and I know... I know a few Pokemon that are definitely going to be on it, but we'll see. Also, he's a ninja. <laughs> Been a while since I said that, hasn't it? Well, maybe not for you guys watching the videos, but for me, it definitely has. This... Oh, looks like I haven't been here yet. Check out these sculpted body. I'm more cut than a black belt. Doubt it. 
Oh my, he's a triathlon. Triathlete, I meant. Triathlon is the event. Triathlete is a person. No, it doesn't matter. I'm a ninja's gonna take over, and I'm a ninja's gonna school something. If I'm glad about this, love this only rewarding capabilities is its speed. You don't have to change your type star, you. You're gonna die next turn. Right after this, love this manages to survive my attack. Well, sorry, you look like you live another turn. Good job, I'm a ninja. Your speed is what I like before. And Pyro Sludge finally leveled up. Nice. Toxic. Pyro Sludge, I think you might have just found your way onto the. You like 14. Because that move might definitely be my saving grace. Another one. You know, you better be happy you're not a ground type anymore. You switch types to the opposites. Alright, speed boost. Just gotta keep doing it till they all fall. You know how it is. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. How we do it. How we do it. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. You know how we do it. We do it. How we do it. Bad. All right, love this. You survive again. Speed boost. It's a good thing I did increase toxic toxic power points because it really needed it. I mean, Sludge Bomb's power points because it really looked like it needed it. Come on, Pilot Sludge, you can take that with ease, right? Good, now we'll play. Uh, you pay it in double. Beautiful. Good job, Pilot Sludge. And that was Sienna and Traffic Pablo. Of course I have more heart. Of course I'm too strong for you guys. Oh great. Register me I guess. Well then, let's try here. Alright, this looks slightly Oh I know where here is. Yep, not where I need to go. Alright, let's get out of here. Back up. There's gotta be... There's gotta be something that I'm missing. I find the area that I need to go to. Once I find it, I'll probably... If 10 minutes has passed and I haven't found it, then I'm gonna, you know, stop until I find it. But it's gotta be someplace above Sutopolis. Oh, you can't run, can you? I don't feel like fighting that, so let's get out of here. Mainly because we don't have anyone who can really fight it well. Let's go. Yep, I've already been here. What about here? Let's go this way and see if we find anything.
Besides, more wild Pokemon, that is. A wild clam pearl again. Nice, that was, that was really going to help me in the fight. Well, Clamp... Clamp did a lot more damage than I anticipated it would. Or P is just really bad. Thank you for dying, Clamp Pearl. Thank you for the level as well. Let's keep going. We can't be running out of super potions already on wild mines. Sue Topless again. Ugh, this is annoying. Oh well, guys. I'll meet you when I find it. Oh my god. Yes. Well, oh, wasted half of a video looking at the topless when I needed to enter a new route. Thank you. Welcome to the C4 Cavern, where I will need strength. And it seems like Rock Smash as well. Thank God for Paddle Switch having it on him. And we find a wild Gull Bat. Can't say that's good news for you right now because you're slow, you're weak, and you're pathetic. Done. Don't do much to strike. Come on, strike, you can do it. Just don't flinch! Ah. Come on. Really, really, really. You're going to get beaten by something using bite with flinch hacks. Thank you. Slow down, thank you. Outspeed it, please, if you can. Of course not, you get confused now. <sighs> My luck sucks. You know... My luck really does suck. Thank you, Strzok! Oh, you miss anyway. So all that thank you struck thing was for not. My god. Thank you, Struck. You just tried to show Pete Indy how to do it and you just failed to do it. Can't live off season another super potion on another wow. 
mana. All right, let's go. We don't need a kitty run. Go, go on home already. Hold on for a sec, guys. Sorry for the long wait, but I'm back. Alright, let's get serious now. Okay, we're fighting a team Aqua with a Poochiena. Hmm, nothing interesting here. So now, as you all know, now that I'm waiting, you know, a few videos in 2013s about it, um, is anyone else excited for the good news that was that was announced earlier up in the, on this month? In this month? I know I was. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. I heard some guy commented on me saying it was a uh, for D DNA and not for X and Y axis. I don't know exactly. Due to that comment, I don't know if it's if they call it X and Y because of axis or not or DNA. But all I know is that this is gonna be epic, full 3D. I know we've had 3D Pokemon games in the past, such as. Gale of Darkness Colosseum, but I've never played those. I have a problem though. I am behind on Pokemon. Last year when I went up, well, I shouldn't even say last year. Aug well, yes, yeah, year. August when I went up, I got didn't get my 3DS. I didn't get a chance to get a 3DS, which really screwed me over because I don't have a 3DS. I really wasn't think. Then Black 2 got released a little after that. Now they're going to be releasing another game called another Mystery Dungeon game, and I really like the Mystery Dungeon series. Sometime soon, if it's not already been released, I know it's been released in Japan, but not there. So that's another thing. They have the Mystery Dungeon game instead of that Mystery Dungeon game. And, to top it all off, there are so many other games that I want to get, such as Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, money. 3DS, that's a lot of money on its own. The two Pokemon games. I don't want the story for Black 2 and White 2 spoiled for me, because... I really want to want to know if they really did better than Black One and Black Two and White One story because my God, those those games were epic. The storyline, everything, I really really liked it, and was and was the selling point of that game. Now I will admit. I'll come back here a bit later. I'll admit, it didn't exactly go... I didn't exactly enjoy it as much as I expected to, but... I expected... I enjoyed Black 2 a lot more than I thought I would. My problem was I knew the storyline before, and I mean... I meant that I was not gonna let Black 2 and White 2 be spoiled for me. So I... Didn't look in those locks. I did not watch anything that remotely came close to it. I completely ignored it. And because of that, I have no idea what happens in Black Lake. All I know is that N's gonna appear, Get is gonna come back. You're gonna be able to fight the Shadow Triad. There are new gym leaders as a share being a normal type, and 
Bianca gives you a first set of Pokemon. That's all I know. The starters are still the sun and white, black and white, but oh, so they led to the same place, huh? So it really isn't anything to me. Anyway, we've already passed the 20 minute mark and uh, even though I didn't get too much done, I'm going to be calling this an episode. So next time on Pokemon Emerald The Misfit Challenge, we'll take care of these waterways and hopefully find our way to the end of the cavern. I know I messed up half this episode by not by searching in the wrong dive spot, so I apologize for that, but progress next time, guys. Promise.